right, back here on the KNC Masterpiece on 105.3 The Fan and on the On Time Experts Hot Seat, powered by the On Time Experts Air Conditioning, Heating, and Plumbing. It is defensive tackle, Neville Galmore. Neville, how's it going today, man? <laughs> it's going great. How about you guys? Doing, I'm doing fantastic because uh, I'm, I'm a lifelong Sooner fan. And yes, uh, my wife went to it. OU. Yes, sir. And uh, I was telling Bob Stoops, we actually had Bob Stoops on the other day, and I was like, hey, my wife, she was there the championship season, and yeah. she was like, it's going to be like this forever. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, hey, they are you know, always competitive. Oh, yeah. uh, really happy to have you on, so this is great for me. Now, Thank you. This, uh, this, whole, this whole camp process – the uh, the 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 part of the 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 camaraderie is that already built? Is that you know the what McCarthy's trying to get? Because I can't call Mike. My co-host Mike won't let me call Mike. <laughs> yeah, he's just Coach Coach McCarthy. <laughs> I'm, call, I'm yeah. the Mike. I've been here for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, definitely. You know, I, I feel like you know just ever since we came together last year up until this point, you know, we understand as a group that we got a job to do, and you know everybody's on the same page. Everybody has that desire to win and compete, and we got a taste of it last year. And you know, it's our second year, and we know we want to take it to another level. We know that we got an opportunity to do something great, greater than we've ever done before. And, and we're just taking it day by day, man. We, our, I love our group. I love that D line room. I, I love our coaching staff, man. They just. They want to do whatever it takes to make sure we're in the best position. And, and we're going to have fun with it. It's going to be a great year. I know, Neville, this might not be the most fun question, but it felt <laughs> like after the 49ers playoff game, the national spotlight was kind of, well, the 49ers bullied past yeah, the Dallas yeah, Cowboys. Yeah. And I know you're in the middle. You're part of that, right. hey, we're going to be strong. We're going to be physical. Absolutely. We're going to be d- dirty. So talk about what you learned maybe from last year in the playoffs and what you can take into this year for that not to be the case. Um, you know, obviously, you know, as a competitor, I, t- I take it personally because, you know, me being like, you know, the center of the D-line, I feel like it, it's my job, it's our job to, to hold the point. And obviously we didn't get that done. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we, we hold ourselves to a high standard. I hold myself to a high standard. And I know that it's just that. we got to be that much better. You know, playoff ball, you can't have no drop-offs. You can't have no missed assignments. you got to be at your best at all times. And, you know, at the end of the day, it was it was a, a learning curve. We understood, you know, they're, they're a great ball team. But I know that we got what it takes. I know that there's no excuses. And, again, we got to get it right right now. And that's what we're doing. So, I uh, best believe, you know, we're, we're going to be on our P's and Q's and, and we're going to do whatever it takes to get get the job done because, you know, we love this game. We love football and, and, and we love to get after. So we're going to we're going to show that this year for sure. How how do you is being the bully a mindset more than anything uh, else? Absolutely. You, you know, like the, the one thing that I, I love and I always talk about it, you know, with my guys, I, I feel like, you know, being a D lineman, you got to have some a little crazy, you know, a little crazy <laughs> about you because, you know, it don't matter what the play is like you're making contact no matter what so i feel like you know and to be honest when you're in the trenches you kind of have to have that mindset because if you don't you're definitely going to get yourself hurt and you know you're gonna it's gonna show on tape so definitely being a bully is a mindset being a dog you know being hunters it's a mindset and and you fall in love with it so that's the that's the thing that we love that i love the most about it that you know once you're in the trenches it doesn't matter ready or not you sign to go get it before the ball is snapped and then after a play is made. This is something as fans we don't get to know or hear. Are you talking a lot before the ball is snapped? <laughs> are you just talking after? Or are you just one of the guys that's just playing the game and quiet and just celebrating you, you your know, team? You know, it's funny, like, um, we, we, we talk about it, you know, in our mental condition. And not to be cliche, but that neutral mindset. So, for, But now, uh, you know, I'm still a competitor. I'm not the one that initially, you know, talks to trash, but – I don't know. For those players who get to talk, I don't know. I feel like that probably brings the best out of me because I, I don't really need much to get myself to go on. I, there's just a few things that I got to think about that kind of take me to that mode. But now when you got a player talk crazy, talk crazy to me now, it's like, okay, it kind of takes me to that place. But, you know, I've been working on a few things this year that, you know, I, I may not even need anybody to say it. So okay. I just, you know, I, I'm going to try my – I know what I got to do to to get to that point. And I, I know when I – when that light uh, clicks, you know, when that light switch goes off, uh, it's a different person. So. Well, and the, uh, like I've always talked about this, I'd love to have, you know, uh, I'll pay, I'll pay to hear what's going on in the trenches. If oh, you give me a mic there, <laughs> is there a teammate that you're up and you're like, <laughs> that was actually pretty funny, or <laughs> like, man, it's like I, I'm not even gonna lie, like all of them, uh, uh, D D Law, uh, Bash, uh, <laughs> I'm sure D A, you know. I feel like all of us, man. I, it's funny because we got such a, you know, wide dynamic in our group that you never know. Right. Yeah. You never know who's gonna set the tone. And all it takes, it takes is one. And the thing is, we got that brotherhood. So if you, 
you get one mad, like we're all mad. We mm-hmm. don't know. I don't, sometimes I could be having a great day. If my brother's mad now, nah, I'm ready to fight. And I'm ready for whoever, whatever. So, but that's the mindset we had, and that just comes with us grinding together. You know, we're we're just used to going through that that fire together already after two years. That it don't really take much, and, and that's kind of the standard. Like we, we're the dogs, we're the hunters. You know, if you you mess with one, you mess with all of us, and that's our approach. You get to play against some great quarterbacks. I would love to know in 2023 or beyond, who would be a guy that you would love to slash sack, recover the fumble from, or would you rather jump up and intercept a pass from? You, you know, it's funny. Like, uh, not, again, I'm not going to be cliche, all of them, but, you <laughs> yeah. know, the funny thing is, is, is I wanted an opportunity to compete against, you know, uh, Tom Brady the you know, year before yeah. that. You know, God made it possible that we can get after it again this year. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And to be honest, it doesn't matter, you know, whoever, whatever. Just be able to get that sack to lay ahead in a crunch time moment. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. But, you know, D-line dream, my dream, it hasn't happened yet. But I'm definitely looking forward to that interception. Probably 30 <laughs> yards to show off that speed. Uh-huh. And, and I promise you, I'm going to give it everything I got once I get to the end zone. I, May celebrate to the point I may pass out. Would it be cool if it was against Kyler? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it to be an old o, uh, OU teammate because I'm yeah. definitely going to be talking that. Yeah. I might run up and get a ball back to him. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're going to need this because yeah, we're coming yeah, back yeah, out yeah. here. We're coming back thanks, out here right thanks, now. Thanks. All right, so you had – I watch TikTok, all right? I, I am a watcher of TikTok. Oh, wow. I'm not a content creator. You, however, created a viral video. Was it by accident? How did how did this vi- this video hit so big? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a pretty. Can you explain uh, like the whole like the whole you, concept you of talking it. Talking about the the salt bay video. The the one uh, where the the guy wanted to block you, right? and he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna I want to block you on the uh, I can I can take you right you now." Semi protein. Yeah, prime, and Dak uh, was like, "No, no, don't 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 do that." I, again, you know, <laughs> I say it again, man. Shout out to those guys. You know the the. The confidence that they had, you know, but you know, again, as a competitor, I felt a little disrespected. But I know it was all it was all fun and games. But you know, and he was like, he could really block me. I was very close to putting on my cleats and getting to it. But again, you got you got to respect the confidence, man. But you know, I, he obviously didn't understand it. it. It does get real in the trenches, and you know, again, when I look back at it, I'm like, if I would have put on my pants, if I would have put my pads on or put my cleats on. You know, he probably would have got a wake up call, but again, I I love it. I love it for them. They, you know, their squad's thirty three and zero. Shout out to them. You know, and again, it's just a group of guys who love football, right? So I feel like that's the nature of the game. No matter what level you're at, you gotta have that that dog in you. Nah. Yeah, that's like that's like me, Mike. When I said I could, Mike used to pitch for the Rangers, and I was like, I can take you, man. I could, I could hit off you. Yeah, I got four, and then he threw a curveball, yeah, and I was yeah. like, well, that'll never happen. I to take him off, take him off the timing. <laughs> but man, Neville, man, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm telling you, this year, what's going to happen is I'm just going to tell you, and you can remember this when it happens. One of your sack. teammates is going to tip the ball up. And then you're going to look up, and it's going to be right there. Now, it's all up to you. You're going to do it, right but you're just going to cradle that like a baby and then take off. Take my, I'm going to take my deep breath now so I'm ready for that moment. There so you when go. I, so when I catch that ball and go to the house. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Tell we got to – just don't – I know one of your coaches, great Leon Lett, just make sure finish uh, finish it nah. into the end zone. <laughs> don't finish celebrate it. before. Nah, I definitely will, but, you know, we, we got to put respect on my, my coach Leon because that awesome. dude was a dog. He was a yeah. monster. So, you know, but now I'm going to hold it down for you. I'm going to hold it down for the whole defense, whole Cowboys nation. And when I go to the house, mm-hmm. I need everybody turned up and okay. everybody going crazy because it's going to be a – it's going to be a movie for sure. They will be. Thank you very much. Neville Galmore here on the KNC Masterpiece on 105.3 The Fan. Thank you.